Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Greenhouses and welcome back to our Live from the Greenhouse series. I hope you've been enjoying uh, just uh, hanging out with us and seeing what our greenhouse life is like and, and what we do and how we prepare for the year and get the plants and flowers going. So be sure to say hi and let us know where you're watching from. We love seeing where people are watching from, from all over the world and that's always fun to, to see. Uh, today I'm seeding vegetables and we started out with the peppers and the tomatoes and some of those smaller seeds that take a little bit longer and some of the herbs. And now I'm moving into our, I call them kind of our bigger vegetables because, and they're a lot faster to grow. So um, it, it's kind of getting a little bit, a little bit more fun because the seeds aren't so small and we're, we're bumping up to those seeds that they're not tiny. And, you know, if you sneeze, you blow 10,000 seed all over the place. And uh, so we're into the pumpkins and the melon and the squash and the cucumbers, zucchini, uh, that type of stuff. And I have it all charted out on, on a, a Excel file and it tells me exactly what days I need to be planting and and it doesn't change from year to year even though you might have you might have a spring where you have a lot of sun or it's warm weather and you know for us it doesn't matter year to year this is decades of experience these are the dates that we that we generally uh, will start those seeds now this year I'm starting a little bit earlier I'm about a week early on some of this stuff because we're we're actually grow, uh, opening up our greenhouses a week early. So I want to get this stuff going. And I just want to take you along and show you how we're doing this. And again, like I said, this is this is more of the manual. Um, we're, we're the bigger seeds. So we're, we're not using a little machine. We have to kind of do this um, by hand. So I, I've got my machine, uh, my my filling machine here. I, it's actually it's on backwards. It's it's running backwards because we have this potting table that we use, and I'm filling up. Uh, these are we call these 1801s because there's 18 cells in in a flat, so there's 18 and it's one flat. So there's 18 small packs in here, and so what I'm doing is I'm just filling up. I'm just filling up these trays, and I'm just going to fire this up just so I can kind of show. And I'm running it backwards and running running my soil down onto my plants, and then I will smooth them off and fill them up. So I'll get my whole bench full and, and smooth it off and get it so it's a nice consistency. And I'll decide, okay, I'll need so many flats of this for my cucumbers, so many flats for my zucchini, and, and kind of add it up so I know I have a game plan of, of what I'm doing. But I just want to show you... Uh, this is cu um, Market More Cucumber Seeds. And this is about the smallest seeds that I've been doing today. Um, so I'm getting into just a little bit smaller. And they're still pretty big, but, you know, the pumpkin seeds are, are like this. They're, they're easy to handle. You can see them. These are about the smallest uh, that, I, that I've done today. And you can see they're, they're not bad. So you don't have to be real exact with this. And... Um, so if you're, if you're planting seeds at home, and, and let me know, do you plant seeds at home or do you just come into the greenhouse and do you buy them? And, um, you know, for, for seeds like this, they need just a little covering, and I'm just going to poke them down into the soil. So it, it really, it's your preference. You could go through and you could lay out one seed right on top so that you can visually see. And these cucumber seeds are nice and white, so they're easy to see against that brown soil. So I can just quickly go through and set them right on top. Or I could poke a hole. I could go through and I could poke a hole and then drop them down in. But this is my preference of just so I have a visual. And that's good there. I, I'm a... I assure you, I'm a lot faster when I'm not trying to do this on camera. So this, this goes zip zip for me. But you can see, I just went through and I set them on top of the soil. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke them down a little bit. And I'm just going maybe to the first knuckle of my finger. So it's maybe down, you know, just a half inch, three quarters of an inch, just down a little ways, poke them down into the soil. And then I'm going to come back through and just cover up that hole. So a little hole right there. And now you can see that I have... I poked it down so it's the seeds are sitting at the bottom. I'm just going to go through and close up that hole that I poked my finger down into. 
And that's, that's really, that's about as easy as it gets. Um, so this type of seed is, um, it, it's, it's pretty easy and they grow really, really fast. So that's why we, we wait until, um, you know, it, well into the, almost the end of April, uh, before we start seeding, uh, the pumpkins, the squash, the, uh, uh, zucchini, the cucumbers, because they grow so fast. So that, that's why we do that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into our propagation chamber. Now that really, really helps to speed up that process. And so I'm going to wet this down and I'm going to put them on a heating mat. And that's that. That is really going to keep this, it's going to be nice and moist from being wetted down. And that bottom heat is sitting underneath and it just makes that germination process go so much faster. So I, I, I can only fit so many in my propagation chamber, so I don't plant all my zucchini at once or all my cucumbers. I do them in stages and about every week we'll just keep doing fresh uh, and and seed up new, you know, a new round of uh, cucumbers or pumpkins or, or or whatever it is. We don't try to do all of them at once because we just we can't fit it. And then if we do them all at once, then we're transplanting them all at once. So once we get to these to these bigger vegetables, we go through and we just you know what are we going to need for the week or what do we think we're going to need for the week and we'll go through and we'll plant them up and then next week we'll just keep on so we always have fresh, um, you know cucumbers coming up and you know and then they sell you know we sell them through the week and we'll say hey we're, we're running low on this or that and make sure we plant up twice as much of this and it's always kind of a we're always chasing a target and we're, and, and um, it, it's hard it's hard to predict we kind of have a game plan but boy you got to be able to shift and move um, so I'm gonna take you uh, I'm gonna take you over by your propagation chamber here and just kind of show you what I've been doing So here's what our propagation chamber looks like, and uh, you can see that I have, you know, I've got butternut, um, I've got my pumpkins up here, some Jackie Little, some some of the big pumpkins, some of the watermelon, honeydew, uh, I've got muskmelon, I've got a few herbs in here that are a little bit slower growing, so they're still they're still um, trying to get those to um, um, to germinate. And into my acorn, acorn squash and spaghetti squash and, and my zucchinis and butternut. So that's what our propagation chamber looks like. And you can see here that I, I haven't gone through and, and wetted these down yet. So I'm, I'm just going to take, take my hose and I'm not using my, um, my misting nozzle. My misting nozzle is when those seeds are really, really small. And this, I just have the regular sprayer on here on my watering hose and I'm just going to go through and get this wet and usually I check it at night because you know they're sitting on heating mats so they're heating all night long at 85 degrees and they will dry out by morning if I don't have them really really soaked and that's good for now I might have to come back and and water them again and my misting nozzle, so this is a misting nozzle. If I'm doing really, really small, fine seed, um, this, this is a misting nozzle and it's a good way to get, um, my seeds wet without blasting them, um, with my, with my watering wand. So that, that's how I get those, get those wet. And up here, I've got eggplant and some peppers that are still going some Brussels sprouts. Now my Brussels sprouts, you see they're stretching. So I've got to get these out of here. Um, they're, they're a couple days overdue. I just kind of missed them and you can see that they're stretching. So those need to go out on the bench in the sun so that they're not stretching. But anyway, so that's, that's my job of the, of the day. And, um, so we're, we're going through and seeding up vegetables and, you know, we're just kind of taking, taking it bits and pieces so that I don't have so many vegetables all at once. And we just constantly keep seeding throughout that growing season and the selling season. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. I hope you're enjoying following along with us and, and seeing everything uh, stuff is really, really starting to grow. And even on some of these overcast days, it's amazing how fast, you know, especially in the hanging baskets, you'll see that they are just 
just exploding with growth, even on an overcast day. So I had to go through and I had to water yesterday. It was Everything was getting really dry, but I knew that today was going to be rainy and wet. And um, so I watered yesterday pretty heavy because today I knew I wasn't going to be watering. So thanks again for joining us and uh, we'll continue to do our live from the greenhouses. Thank you.